Since a lot of people are always asking me about my riding attire, I thought I'd break it down for you this morning. Pretty much start every session with the car and the gears inside. Got the tortoise pads, got to protect the hips and the glutes. I tend to fall a lot in fakie, so I get sore cheeks and sore hips real fast. And the bruises don't really go away quickly. You got to put them on over a pair of comfy shorts. Mine are from AS Color. This just helps absorb sweat and stops chafing. Because trust me, if you ride for long periods of time like I do, repeatedly day after day after day, you're going to experience some chafing. Next up, sweatpants. These are proper co. Shout out Chris. Scooter wraps. My G. I'm always wearing sweatpants. I never ride in trousers. I just, I don't get it. I don't get riding in trousers. They're not stretchy. They're not a limbar piece of clothing, you know? I wore hippie pants like one time to a meet and greet and I ripped the cheeks. I did a fakie finger whip, spread my legs for the for the trick and just tore my pants. And um, come to think of it again, I was doing a ride in day, ride in day. I was doing a ride day, maybe 2011, 2012, did a fast blunt front flip and ripped my shorts right, wide open. <laughs> Super embarrassing. So I just stick to the sweatpants. Last up's the hat, I'm not trying to get burnt on the forehead. Although I pretty much take off my hat, my shades, and my shirt every session. <laughs> so, you know, I pull up, it's light work. I just start stretching. You know, got to get limbar, like I said. Limbar? Limber? Limber. No one's out of the skate park, like, pretty much ever, so I just artificially create friends for myself right here in the booth. <laughs> hey yo, what's up, G? Oh, and off comes all the gear. So yeah, I'm riding the 7 wide at the Mo. If you saw my North review, you'll know I have the Horizon. Now I'm riding the Europa, which is from Aztec. And they are completely different um, beasts. Completely different. Aztec's model, what, from the consensus I have so far, is, is like a, a park hybrid kind of street thing. It's really strange. I can't really put it in a category. It's sort of in a, a, a whole lane of its own. Come on, let's go. Oh, are you kidding? I was fucking an inch from it. I need to drop like twice as high for that shit. Ah, God, yuck. I've wanted fakey bry whip down a drop for a really long time. Just cannot find the right place for it that's both aesthetic and, you know, where it's doable. A lot of places where it's doable, it either just looks like trash or like it's real, the ground is, is real coarse, real rough. And I'm not trying to do bry whip fakey, uh, you know, to a super coarse landing because I'm going to fall a lot trying it. 
Oh, this is where we start entering real painful territory. I've been trying to get the 5-0 sussed on this deck, and on the horizon, like, I only just picked up the trick. On the horizon, I can do it on this ledge, I can do it on pretty much any other ledge that I normally ride, and you'll just, you'll see what happens. If you don't like people throwing their scooters, just click away now. So I'm putting Dom's personal theory to the test here today. I have the titanium axle and the titanium spaces fitted, Apparently, it's supposed to lock a 5.0 a lot better, so we're here to find out. So far, all I'm feeling is a lot more slide, a lot less friction, but honestly, I kind of like a little bit of friction. It adds more control. With the board shaped the way it is, I don't really need any other barriers to grinding. Still not convinced. Ah. If there is any difference, it must be so minuscule that I can't really tell. I'm still not convinced about the bottom of the board, although I don't know what it would be like had it just been reasonably normal, like a lucid or something. I'm just finding it difficult to stay in a grind. A any grind other than 50. 50 Smiths and Feebles, they just lock flawlessly, but board slide front board slide, front lip slide, back lip slide. Uh, I'm not convinced. Not yet. Fucking hell. Uh. Get in there uh, I'm finding it harder, honestly. Fuck! you. I'm proper pissy after that. I've just traded two bar ends and a pair of forks just to be able to land a fucking 5-0. Piss off, mate. The bottom of the deck is frustrating. It's frustrating. The... It's just frustrating. It's just frustrating. I... There's nothing really to say. I'm just frustrated. Hopefully with time it will get better, but I'm just so frustrated every time I ride. Anything that isn't 50, Feeble, Smith, Triple Whip, Bry, you know, that stuff's great, but as soon as it comes to board to back lip, oh, have fun, because you're not going to learn that shit on this. <laughs> it's going to be very, very, very hard for you to learn those kind of things on this deck. At the end of the day, Dom's the designer, so he's designed it to, you know, his own preference and all that. But I am, I'm really liking the deck. I'm just frustrated with it as well. Frustrated because it's not giving me what I want and what I'm expecting out of it. And I'm getting a lot of, it's like force feedback. You ever played Gran Turismo with the force feedback on and it's trying to turn for you? That's what this is. It's trying to manipulate your grind for you and I don't like that. Yeah. Bro, just a real frustrating experience, eh? Um... I'm obviously going to give it more time, you know, you can't just expect it to work out straight away. But I was thinking, you know, while I was editing this and watching myself back talking about it, I was thinking like, isn't it weird that the Aztec now, it wants you to grind right in the center of the deck. Like the center point of the deck is the flat part. This is your main contact point, And then underneath it, it starts going like this. Whereas pretty much every other deck on the market has been the two outer channels are where you grind and the middle is either a cutout or, you know, recedes back into the deck. This is the complete opposite, and I don't think it's gonna stick. I just, I don't know if it's gonna stick for me, but I could change my mind, who, who knows, who knows? It has been about a week and a half though. A local chap decided to rock up, so I quickly asked him about uh, his thoughts on the deck. 
you can hear what he has to say. Oh yeah. My name's Aiden, I'm from Auckland. What size deck do you normally ride on your scooter? Oh, uh, 5.5, five, 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 five. Okay. So this one is a seven, an inch and a half wider. What are you thinking first up? How easy was that 50? That was so easy. Like, I'm not even that good at 50s, but <laughs> this thing, I was like... Yeah, I seen you struggling board slide on your scooter and then you just whammed <laughs> it out straight away on that. Yeah. It's pretty light for like its size and like compared to mine. You going to that ride day at Vic? Yeah, for sure. Oh, shmay. Shout out to boys. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So yeah, another day of Scooter Antics. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, it was super casual. Smash like and uh, subscribe.